Hey everyone, it's Anthony from prettyprinted.com. In today's video, I wanna talk about how to better organize your code by using the Python import system. So this is a pretty basic topic, but I find that a lot of beginners don't know about it because they're so used to writing all their code in one file. So when there's a lot of code in that one file, things can get out of hand and they start wondering how they can better organize their code. So by having Python imports, it makes it a little easier so you can kind of split up your code across multiple files. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. I'm going to create two files. Um, one file will be the main file that gets run from the command line. And then the second file will be a file that has some functions in it that the main file will call. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create the functions file. So let me create a new file here. And I will go to imports and put it in here somewhere. I'll call this file um, funks like that. That's a Python file. So I'm going to create two functions. Uh, I'll call them funct1. And I'll just print a message. So print you called funk one and then I'll create a second function and I'll call it, or I'll print you called func2. And I'll save this file. So this file is going to be one of my source files, but it's not the main file. So I'll never run this file directly from the command line. I'll run some other files that just happen to use this one. So I'll create a new file and I'll call it main.py. And I completely messed up that file extension. Let me delete that and no, don't want to. I'll create a new file. I'll save it as main.py. Okay, that works. So now to use those functions, the very first thing I need to do is import them. So to import, it's very easy to do and there are two ways to do this. The first way is just by calling the import keyword and the name of the file that I want to import. So as long as this file is in the same directory as this main file, I can import it. And you can import other files, but that's beyond the scope of this video. I just want to focus on files that are in the same directory. So uh, funks here is in the same directory as main, so I want to import that. So I'll do import funks. And you just have to make sure your file name doesn't collide with any other libraries that you may have or even other file names in the same directory. So for instance, you wouldn't want to name your um, file OS because Python has a built-in library called OS. So just keep that in mind if things don't work out. So once I have that imported, I can then call the functions inside of funks by doing the name of the module is what it's called. So the module name is funks. Whoops. And then the name of the function, so funct1, and that's uppercase O. So I'll save that, and I'll go to the command line, and I'll run this. So python main.py, and I see you called funct1. And if I put something else in here, just to show how this is the main file, we are in the main file. I'll save that, and I'll run it again from the command line. And it says we are in the main file, and you called funct1. So there's another way to import, and this is for when uh, the thing that you're importing, so the module, the library, the file, or whatever you're importing has a lot of things in it, but you only want to use a few of them. You don't want to import everything. So when you import like this, you basically have access to everything. But if you only want access to one thing in the file, let's say I want access to func2, I will just import that. And to do that, I'll say from funks import func2. So that gets me this one function from uh, this funks file. And the nice thing about that is then you can use it like it was defined in the one file that you're working in. So you don't have to do this funks dot function name. You can just do the function name. So funct two, just like that. So I'll run this. And now I see we are in the main file. You called funct one and you called funct two. So it's pretty simple to do, and uh, this is a great way to organize your project. So you just come up with logical separations for the code that you're writing, and that way you don't have to put everything in one file. 
because I know a lot of beginner Python tutorials pretty much tell you to put everything in one file, and it's basically for simplicity purposes. I mean, when I make videos here, 90% of the time I'm just doing one file because there's really no need to organize the files in a particular way when you're just doing something for demonstration purposes. But when you're actually building an app, you may want to have multiple files there. The, the Skype thing just threw me off. So uh, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about importing files or modules in Python, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.